Every month, taxpayers spend $40 million to support the food stamp program in Oregon. That money goes to 440,000 people across the state, most of them very much in need, but also some who are getting benefits they don't deserve. News Channel 8's Pat Doris hit the road with state investigators looking to sniff out food stamp fraud. It's mid-morning in Portland, and that sedan we're following northbound on Interstate 5 is hunting for fraud. The car holds Don Gregory, a food stamp investigator. He's one of just 16 in all of Oregon. His job, track down scoff laws, ripping off the public. It's, it's my personal belief that if you can eliminate a lot of the fraud, there'd be more money for people that truly need assistance. Each year, Gregory and his colleagues catch about 1,400 people cheating taxpayers out of a million dollars. Our first stop takes us across the state line to Vancouver. A 20-year-old living in this duplex with her newborn and her mother is getting food stamps from Oregon after claiming she lived with her aunt in East Portland. Gregory and his supervisor, John Carter, there in the brown coat, talk to the 20-year-old who admits the lie. She'll get kicked out of the program nationwide for a year and will have to pay back $1,600. A uh, very pleasant young lady, and she kind of in bad circumstance and uh, agreed that she lived over here and received food stamps over there. And she... The next case involves this woman, Ina Martin. She lives in a hotel on Southeast 82nd. We need to verify as to whether or not this... Um... 16, 17-year-old child is in fact living in the home or is in fact living elsewhere. Investigators believe the teenage daughter is not living there. If true, it will reduce Ina's food stamp money. I was confused because my daughter lives with me. She had the last few months her boyfriend's been working at a job in Tacoma. So she's been going up and seeing him and staying up there with him most of the time. But they're here almost every weekend when he's not working. She signs a statement that her daughter indeed does live with her. Investigators will check back later. Next, it's off to the apartment of Billy Delatore. She and her three kids live on 518 bucks a month in food stamps. The kids come from two different dads. She says neither pay child support. Investigators think one of the dads lives here. They ask to search and find she's telling the truth. So, and what's going on that with? makes her stand yeah, out to investigators. Not necessarily. <laughs> she was very straightforward and very helpful and, and uh, um, very courteous. And no, that's not necessarily the normal. Billy says she's thankful for the help with the food. She does not mind the questions. Um, they're doing their job. And if it helps other people, that's great. The final stop this day involves a home in southeast Portland. The mom here claims the father runs a business out of the garage and stores his truck and boat here, but that he does not live here. Investigators think it's a lie. The woman will not open the door, but accepts a note from Don Gregory. Two days later, she called the state and canceled the food stamps. That's more money saved for taxpayers. Tomorrow, Gregory and others will be back out looking for more. Pat Doris, KGW Northwest News Channel 8. Most cases are settled without criminal charges, although investigators did refer 29 cases to a district attorney last year. If you want to report food stamp abuse, you can call 1-888-372-8301. There's also a link on...